Welcome back. There's more backlash over the accidental burning of Qurans in Afghanistan. The Taliban now claiming responsibility for a deadly shooting that claimed the lives of two Americans. They say it's in retaliation for the Quran burning. So what can be done to end the violence? Joining us now is Dr. Zudi Jasser, president and founder of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. It's nice to be with you. Now that we know uh, the chief suspect in this is an Afghan police uh, uh, intelligence officer, where has that apology from President Obama and from the military gotten us as a country, gotten the president as a world leader? Well, I think it continues to demonstrate that this White House really has no concept of an overall strategy in the war of ideas. I mean, listen, we should have had probably a military uh, leader, uh, a general, say, you know, this was a mistake and maybe on the, on the field apologize. But for the president on behalf of the American people to send a letter and apologize, I'll tell you, me as a Muslim, we don't need to apologize. I mean, when have the Organization of Islamic Cooperation countries apologized for the burning of churches and the killing of Christians in Iran and Saudi Arabia. We have absolutely nothing to apologize for. And if we're going to win the war of ideas on the ground and have a strategy, we need a liberty doctrine that defends the Muslims that are not the Taliban. I mean, basically, it's veiled bigotry to say that somehow we Muslims need to be apologized and be afraid of because we might become violent like these mobs in Afghanistan, when in fact we need to be treated like Westerners, like modern people that act and react normally and not in this kind of radical way. And this was a terrible mistake, uh, yet it was a mistake. Uh, the burning of the Koran is a horrible thing to do, not intentional. You have served in the Navy. If you're one of those troops over there in Afghanistan who's lost nearly 1,800 fellow soldiers, what is the message to you that you are sacrificing everything for Afghanistan, and you see all this, you see them murdering your brethren there. Yeah, I mean, this is what we forget. We have so many Muslims serving, and the terrorists themselves actually defiled the Quran. We don't even write on the script, and that the Quran that they mistakenly burned as they got rid of it was because there were notations, etc. And it's not sending the right message to apologize. Yes, there was a mistake done, but we in America, our, our soldiers, our sons and daughters, are trying to preserve an Afghanistan that protects them from oppression, that protects them from a society that takes away their freedoms. We have nothing to apologize for. We need to take the high road and have a strategy not of appeasement. I mean, this White House had an OIC Istanbul process conference in Washington in December. We were sort of apologizing for Islamophobia, and this really needs to stop if we're going to win the long-term war against Islamism as an ideology. Back here at home, controversy again regarding the Muslim faith. There was a, a Halloween parade in Pennsylvania in which one man dressed up as a zombie Mohammed. He was attacked by a Muslim bystander there. Eventually, no charges were filed because ultimately there was no evidence. It was one man's word versus another. The controversy comes over what the judge uh, who presided over this case said. Listen. What you've done is you completely trashed their essence, their being. They find it very, very, very offensive. I'm not Muslim. I find it offensive. But you have that right. But you're way outside your balance. First Amendment rights. Doctor, is this judge lecturing on Sharia law instead of the United States law? I, I just, it's like the twilight zone. I can't believe this is in Pennsylvania. This judge basically is empowering blasphemy laws and somehow a, a guy with a law degree on a bench is saying that the First Amendment says that people would never want to be provoked. I mean, it's absurd. It's again veiled bigotry that I as a Muslim cannot control my emotions if somebody dresses up in a costume of Muhammad and that somehow that offends me. I mean, there was a zombie pope right next to them and no Catholics uh, attacked that person. So, you know, there's a lot going on in this country where you have honor killings that somehow the judges give lesser sentences like that happened here in Arizona. And we're, we're defending somehow a multiculturalism which ends up being veiled bigotry that Muslims have different standards of universal human rights 
and we need in Pennsylvania, for example, and Michigan, there's laws about American laws for American courts, and those need to uphold. This judge needs Muslims to sign petitions that he needs to be impeached and removed because we as Muslims do not need somebody to lecture us that we have different standards about free speech. The case has been dismissed. The controversy is not yet over. Dr. Zudi Jasser is the president and founder of American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Coming up, how.